old one. Yeah. It's right in the box of that book. I read one. That says 1487 on the bottom. Uh, That's the new one. It says what? 1487 on the bottom. I'm telling you. I didn't Yours was one. agenda subject. Yeah. Here, here, here. Give her one. Here you go. You got a maybe new one? You, maybe you didn't get one. There's the third one right there. Right there. Alongside you. That's this the is the new one, honey. That's what I'm on. Okay. Oh, you just gave it to me. Okay. We're good to go there. I don't have it, honey. I don't okay. know. You don't need it. If you want one, I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to revise the agenda since uh, I found, a, uh, found another house that needed to be assessed. So, so anyway, uh, while we have uh, um, statements and supplements, and there's actually three supplements, not two. So that means they owe us money. On here. That means they owe us money. Yes. Supplements. Supplements. That's money coming in this direction. Lovely. Payments and money going. Oh, okay. So we're going to do one at a time. Credits going in that direction. So anyway, we have um, five abatements and three supplements. Uh, abatements. Uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, the first one is a debt, and homestead was admitted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it is now, you know, part mm -hmm. of the assessment. Um, the second one, um, count 348, uh, that's a mobile home out in North Quebec Road, and it was assessed for like almost forty thousand dollars. Y'all know the home, right? No, mm -hmm. but I, no. For this, we believe. If you're driving along and it sits up and it's white and it's got a the address painted in black on the side of it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think it's worth 40000 Somebody, it's like a lot of the mobile homes, you know, the, the system doesn't have an automatic depreciation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, function. And unless I notice it or somebody brings it to my attention, I, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And generally when they bring it to my attention, it's generally after the horse left the barn. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that. Uh, this one, the third one there, count 1649, that uh, that, that, that involved a, 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 some land swaps and splits and out, out of North Lebec Road that just kind of, it's taken a couple of three years now to get, get it straightened out because of the uh, documentation provided by the, uh, the former owners. But is that taxing gone to somebody though? It, I mean, it's giving yeah, going back to somebody, but is it going to somebody else? The bill, in other words. No, no. Yes. In other, in words, other words, they, they didn't drop off the wall. Whoever bought it. Yeah, they they got a bill. They they, they were a bill. It's mm -hmm. just they were double billed. Yeah. Okay. And it, it, so uh, uh, let's we're see. The 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 fourth one there, fifteen thirty two. Um, I, I gotta say, I uh, I really missed a mark on an assessment. Too bad, but that one, I, I there was, <laughs> I uh, pushed the wrong button, mm -hmm. and uh, that house, that was an owner built, and I went out there and looked at it, but um, and y'all know where the property is. It's sitting out. It was the one that fellow built itself out there out of center block. It's, it goes up and then it goes in and up. Oh, it's yeah. got the bird roosty thing on it uh -huh. up there. Uh -huh. Well, uh, it, it's really not as big a house as it looks like. It's mm -hmm. only got a one car garage in the basement. It's owner built. Um, and any time you have an owner built property, um, in the world of assessing, owner built properties automatically, uh, if you're going to get a mortgage on a home that's owner built, doesn't matter if you're a master contractor, master builder. The assessors or the appraisers are going to are going to deduct 10 percent mm -hmm. of the owner built in the mm -hmm. off the uh, off the amount they will and then on a mortgage. Mm -hmm. And but in this case, I, I made an error, and so it was over assessed, and uh, I, I valued it too high. Did a detailed review with the owner. Do you have a tax map of that? What is the value of that right now? Uh, I don't have that in front of me. Okay. Oh, okay. But it's about it right around 100000 right now. It was up to like $160,000. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit over the top. So, that's what it's uh, besides the cost of payments. 
Uh, this last one is, <laughs> that's a personal property account, US, U.S. Bank National Association, they're out of uh, Washington State. Mm. And um, they've got a personal property of, uh, they sent me a declaration, you know, the owner of the personal property is supposed to send the assessors each year a declaration. You know, which the banks do, you know. But they, they made an error. They, they, they sent me one for like uh, uh, $14.80 too high. You know, and they called me and they sent me a new one. And they, actually, they made a mistake, I think. Wow. Yeah. So and they letter, admitted they it. Print. And they admitted it. That's, That's why amazing. It. That's the amazing. That letter. Bank error. Property declaration. Wow. <laughs> They did. They did it. That's wow. The, the total amount of of the property is like sixty nine dollars and twelve cents. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you know, it's good to know that they're they're honest. You but know, I, they sent me one for like eighty three dollars, <laughs> and then they called me up and uh, after the fact. So we made a mistake. It's like I'm kind of. If it was eighty three thousand dollars, you wouldn't hear that. Yes, that's right. Uh, probably not, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions on these? No. no. Okay. On the supplements, uh, these uh, first one is, was a mission on a house, um, and but I I caught it. The uh, second one, they moved to Florida. They're getting a homestead exemption in Florida. You know, you can't have homestead in two, two states. Sometimes, you know. They'll call me, but in some cases I, I follow up and I call down where they, mm -hmm. I find out they got another place, I'll call and ask the clerk, <laughs> I, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, they, they got caught. Uh, the last one was at um, 1487, that's a nice new house down South Lebec Road, down there. And <coughs> they, I didn't think they had, but they, they, uh, they moved in and took possession and uh, beneficial use on April 1. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got together with them today and added this home. Nice. That's okay. okay? So you know, we like that one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I said, are you Can't sure you moved in April 1? Ah. I said, yeah. So I said, okay. Can be honest? Hey, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's, good. That's, That's good. nice. We like those. He, yeah. works, he works for the U.S. And the supplements outweigh the uh, abatements, which the is good. He works for the National Association. <laughs> no, no, no. He's no, no, no. <laughs> So you need a motion to accept all these as written? Yes. And so the net result here is uh, we got a plus. Uh, yeah. 65, 38, 85. <laughs> already, I've already done it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we like the money. Right on it. Okay. That's great. Great. Excellent. Yes, sir. I make a motion we uh, approve the abatement. Second. And then I. And, you, and, and the supplement. And then I and make a motion we approve the supplement. Second. Second. All in yes. favor? Yes. All right. Well, thank Great. you for that. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, thank, thank you. Marvelous. Okay. Thank you. Be careful uh, driving along. Uh, I will. I will. Yeah, John. Uh, Do you need a signature on that? Uh, yeah, we got signature pages. You need to sign these because yeah. Suzette needs to. She's going to be going on vacation next week, so she needs to get these. Uh, get some in for the end of the uh, year. In the mail, just you know. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything here, but you just need to get your signatures. I got the letters here. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen these? I think you brought them before. Have you seen these? Before? We send those out. Just so you know, everybody gets a letter with a new bill now. Mm -hmm. Used to be we didn't actually send them the bill, a new bill. We just sent them this letter. But we figured out how to... Send the bill. That's always uh, better. How to tell... Well, we send a letter and a bill so they'll, they'll understand what's for when they see it. But we've gotten to where we know how to run TRIO. I see that's going to get checked on it to actually generate a supplemental bill, a tax mm -hmm. bill that can go into it. Okay, these are for your signature. Mm -hmm. 
think I need to make up one of these for um, the last one. Oh no, I don't need to make up bills for stuff. I don't need. Only you don't need to think it's for a bait. I don't need warrants for stuff for stuff. Right, you just need to put your money back. The supplement is a is a is a collective warrant. Mm -hmm. And you don't need a signature, right? I don't need a, I don't need an individual warrant for your supplement. Okay. All I need is just so you know the. We need an addendum to the tax collector that they can take it that right way. We need let's pursue that right. Yes. So what what it is for you those of you who may not be that familiar with it, this this is the supplemental tax warrant and this is a supplement to the tax list. In other words, when you do a committed book, you leave a, a page extra and you have a a, a list of each uh, collection of supplementals. And this is the supplemental list, which is then affixed mm. as the next, you know, the next last page in the commitment book. Mm -hmm. That goes for that, and then these two documents go in the commitment book, but you have to have this list. And then if we had another session where we had more supplements, the next list would be S2, et cetera, et cetera. It's like an appendix on a, on a commitment one book, addendum yeah. on a contract. Yeah, same kind of thing. All right. There's the tax certificate. Okay. Oh, we're good, all right? Okay. What's that? I've got to press into my address. Constitutional law. Yeah. Under your what? His constitutional law. Constitutional law. Yeah. I didn't know you were asking the constitutional law. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. Along with the misery. He's yeah. there another lady. The Constitution on the side. Has he really? No. And Fred Pierce. That's an old one. I just this is an old one. Pierce, right? Here, can I put her name out yes. and then put mine over? Initial it. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's an old one. What's I don't either. Going on? I don't know. Well, I must have I must have grabbed the wrong. Uh, what the rest of them sign? The rest of the yes, time. yes, the rest of yes. The time. This one is it. Yeah. Yeah. I can make a new one real quick if you want. Well, oh, we can just find. Correct. Just initial it. Correct. And initial it. And it'll be Initial it in six places. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so he's got to initial that. I've got. It's clear what happened with my computer somehow. You just initialed that right now. It mm -hmm. went berserk <coughs> and replicated itself to all these different files on my screen. Ooh. Like one day, Ooh. all of a sudden, I've got like three copies of the same thing. Uh -huh. you know, multiple, three copies, you know. Yeah. yeah. And um, I just clean that up. I don't know what happened. Well, we well, just on the supplemental, it wasn't on the end. Yes. We did? Okay. Can I just sing a little song for everybody? Sing oh, Westman, Dan, you're on. What what what? Dan's gonna sing a Christmas carol. Oh, yeah. Just a little tidbit of one. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Oh, love you. With that, we will adjourn this session. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. You stick around, Jim. All in favor of celebrating Christmas here, as opposed to some sunny climb. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. I can't get it. Oh, she did. She got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's one bad. No, oh, yeah. Why would you want to go anywhere? I really don't. I really don't. I really don't.